my channel if you're new here please do subscribe down below my name is Adiola and I upload videos about Africa the black community and growing as a whole so if you're interested in videos on those topics please do subscribe down below and join our community so today we're going to be doing an interesting video we're going to be doing a facts about an African countries video and today we're going to be doing the third and last Guinea in Africa so let's get into Guinea-Bissau. Guinea-Bissau is a West African country which is bordered by Senegal and Guinea. The capital is actually Bissau with the local currency being the West African franc. Now Guinea-Bissau was actually colonized by the Portuguese and Portuguese is the country's official language however only about a fifth of the population can actually speak Portuguese Portuguese Portugal Portuguese and a lot of the country's population actually speak a Creole dialect the people of Guinea-Bissau are known as Bissau Guineans and fun fact about their currency but they are the only Portuguese colony to actually adopt the franc system which was the currency the French actually gave to their colonies so if you'd like to know more about this country please do go to my website adeafrica.com I host a plethora of information about the different African countries. I also host travel guides, ultimate blogs, um, ultimate guides to the different countries and I have a travel sector where you can actually book onto tours, group tours with us and we will take you around certain African countries and we also have a shop where we sell handmade African items to help give back and help um, raise African community sustainably. We have a support program where um, our partners get 40% of their profits back on items and we also have an Ebon collection and the Ebon collection works with charities and we give them 25% of the profits made on those collections. So please, if you're interested in shopping with us, please Please do or you can support us in other ways by liking this video sharing it and also commenting down below what you know about Guinea-Bissau so let's get into some more facts about the country the country is home to over 20 different ethnicities the largest ethnic group in this country are the the Fulani Balanta and Mandinka tribes Islam is the country's biggest religion with animist religion being the second largest religion actually and then the third largest religion religion being Christianity. They are one of the very few African countries where animist religion are still widely practiced across the country. Usually animist religion tends to have a smaller a smaller percentage whereas in Guinea-Bissau around 36% of religious people identify with animist religions so the Bijagos Islands are actually made up of eight eight different islands and they're located on the west of the um, of the coast of the country out of the 88 only, only 20 of the islands are actually inhabited one of them being the Carvela Island which are renowned for their Carvela festival which happens at the it's like the end of February early March it all depends on the year it happens different times of different years you can read about my story on my blog actually I won't reveal too much but the carnival is said to be something of wonder it's said to be an amazing opportunity for people to show off their different cultures so you can read all about it in my blog which I'll link leave a link down below for. Bijagos Islands have the most diversity in the country and are actually known as a UNESCO biosphere reserve and it's home to hundreds of flora and fauna species. So the Bijagos Islands actually is also home to one of Africa's fewest matriarchal societies and these societies are where basically women are the dominant people and are the ones who pick their husbands and basically the line of power flows through women so what do you guys think about matriarchal societies as opposed to patriarchal ones please do let me know in the comments below so 71% of the country's land is actually forested which makes it Africa's third country to have most of its land as forestry that's 
after the Seychelles and Gabon. So the national animal in this country is the West African elephant. 90% of the exports in this country actually come from cashew nuts which makes it the sixth largest exporter of cashew nuts in the world 80 percent of the country's population actually work in the agricultural sector guinea bissau actually drew its flag inspiration from ghana so i'll put the two flags up so you can see as i mentioned in my ghana episode if you watched it ghana was actually the first sub-saharan african country to gain its independence which gave guinea the push to also want to strive for their own independence and as you can see the country has similar colors they're lined in different ways and the black star is still representative of both of them rice is a staple dish in guinea so fun fact guinea bissau and cape Verde were actually one country um, up until 1980s so cape Verde actually helped give military um, reinforcements to guinea bissau when they were fighting for their independence from Portugal. So Guinea Bissau, like Guinea, is unfortunately one of 15 most unvisited countries in the world, which again, I have a love-hate relationship with. I love it because it feels like you have the country to explore for yourself and people are, um, they're not used to tourists, so they have no reason to cheat you. Um, so they're not gonna like inflate prices. They're not gonna try and scam you out of anything. They're just genuinely happy to see people wanting to explore their country and they love it um, and it feels like and it just feels much safer environment to be in um, but also it upsets me because I know that tourism can contribute so much to the country and can help so many people from restaurants transportation hotels accommodation um, the, even the festivals if you're going to the festivals you end up spending money which will help the people um, in the community so I also do want to push tourism for that same reason so go to Guinea Bissau if I haven't convinced you yet go read my blog to get more information and then book your ticket to Guinea Bissau so oysters and shrimp are actually a delicacy in this country so if you're ever going to the country trust me you're gonna enjoy some really good seafood and lastly the national sport in the country and the most popular sport is football so thank you for watching my video I hope you learned a lot about Guinea-Bissau I hope you like like the information and if you do want to learn some more please do go to my website adafrica.com you can read our guides our blog posts and our ultimate guide about this country which I'll leave all down below for you to have a look at so if you enjoyed the video, please do like it, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.